The Peripheral, a new sci-fi thriller based on the same titled novel by William Gibson, has unmistakably received a lot of investment from Prime Video, as have many of their other new programs this year. The new series has all the makings of a hit for the streaming service thanks to its stellar ensemble, which includes Chloe Grace Moritz, Jack Rayner, Gary Carr, and Eli Gorey. It is executive produced by the Westworld creators Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy. It's difficult not to be captivated by the series' marketing, which features curious-looking androids that could have been lifted directly out of Westworld and action scenes influenced by The Matrix, even just by watching the series' trailers. The near-future setting of the peripheral introduces us to Flynn Fisher, Moritz, a 3D printing shop employee who lives with her ex-Marine brother Burton, Fisher, and their mother, Melinda Page Hamilton. It is quite evident that Flynn is smarter than her circumstances may have you assume, and she is so valuable to her family and friends that they frequently turn to her for assistance. One night, Flynn decides to take over her brother's shift in a virtual reality game that appears all too real. She makes a startling and horrifying discovery while playing the game, drawing her deeper and deeper into a conspiracy that threatens everything and everyone she thought she knew. The peripheral has a convoluted plot that will leave even the most ardent sci-fi fans scratching their heads and rewinding the episodes in an effort to figure out what's even going on, and from this point on, it becomes increasingly difficult to discuss the series without giving away any of the surprises that the audience is in for. The series shares many traits with other well-known works in the same genre. It begins with a setup reminiscent to Ready Player One, depicting a grim but plausible future with technology that might be unveiled within the next year. The series begins to resemble The Matrix more and more as the episodes go on, with Moritz donning a black leather suit, falling in love against all odds, and battling corrupt bureaucrats like Tania Miller's delightfully monotone Charisse. As one learns more about the peripheral, the more perplexing it becomes. Additionally, because each episode lasts about an hour, the pacing begins to change, showing one minute a heart-pounding action sequence and the next an attempt to add a romance that doesn't always succeed. So much happening on the screen that begs for the audience to pay close attention to every frame. It will be intriguing to see how the peripheral concludes in its last two episodes and whether the show will return for a second season on Prime Video. It has a lot of potential, and when it succeeds, it ranks among the most thrilling new television programs. If you like this video that I've been working on for a long time for you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.